Needing Each Other, a children's book about relational needs by Joy Wilt. God created you a person, and because you are one, you have special needs. A person needs good food, water, air, sunshine, exercise, rest, sleep, clothes, and shelter in order to keep his or her body alive and well. Persons were also created by God to need other people. Why is this true? Well, to begin with, Chapter 1. A person needs to love others. What does it mean to love others? This is Karen. Karen's favorite toy is her teddy bear. Karen loves her teddy bear. Karen's favorite pet is her cat. Karen loves her cat. Karen's best friend is Michelle. Karen loves Michelle. What does it mean to say that Karen loves her teddy bear, Karen loves her cat, and Karen loves Michelle? It means that Karen values her teddy bear, cat, and best friend. They are very important to her. They mean a lot to her. Because Karen values her teddy bear, and because it is important to her, Karen shares her bed with her teddy bear and always sees that it gets repaired when it is damaged. Because Karen values her cat, and because she is important to her, Karen shares her best doll bed and blankets with the cat, and often spends some of her allowance to buy cat toys and catnip for her. Because Karen values her best friend Michelle, and because Michelle means so much to her, Karen spends time with her. Karen helps Michelle with her jobs and shares her things with her. Because Karen loves her teddy bear, her cat, and best friend Michelle, she spends time with them, she does things for them, and she shares her things with them. If you love someone, you will value him or her, he or she will become important to you, and he or she will mean a lot to you. If you love someone, you will spend time with him or her, you will do things for him or her, and you will share your things with him or her. God created you with a need to love others. God wants you to love others. Who are some of the people you love? Chapter 2 a person needs to be loved by others. What does it mean to be loved by others? This is John. These are John's parents. John's parents love him. This is John's next door neighbor, Mr. Stevens. Mr. Stevens loves John. This is John's best friend, Chris. Chris loves John. What does it mean to say that John's parents love John? Mr. Stevens loves John, and Chris loves John. It means they value John. John is very important to them. John means a lot to them. Because John's parents value John, and because he is important to them, they care for him. John's parents spend time with him, and they share their money, home, and other things with him. Because Mr. Stevens values John, and because John is important to him, he spends time with John and does things for him, like fixing John's bike. Mr. Stevens shares his things with John. Because Chris values John and because John is important to him, he spends time with John and helps him with his arithmetic homework. Here, you can use my glove. I'll use my old one. Gee, thanks. Chris shares his things with John. Because John's parents, his neighbor, and his best friend Chris love him, they spend time with him, they do things for him, and they share their things with him. If someone loves you, he or she will value you. You will be important to him or her, and you will mean a lot to him or her. If someone loves you, he or she will spend time with you. He or she will do things for you, and he or she will share his or her things with you. God created you with a need to be loved by others. 
God wants you to be loved by others. Who are some of the people that love you? This is Carolyn. Carolyn says that nobody loves her. If this is true, Carolyn is the only one who can do something about it. How? The answer is simple. In order to be loved, you must do two things. First, if you want another person to love you, you must love yourself. You must realize that God created and loves you, and because of this, you are special. Because you are a special person, created and loved by God, you should love yourself. Second, if you want another person to love you, you must love him or her. You must realize that God created and loves that person, and because of this, he or she is special. Because he or she is a special person created and loved by God, you should love him or her. Every person needs to love others and be loved by others. Want some of my licorice? Sure, I've got some gum. Let's trade. Why does a person need other people? Chapter 3 A person needs to respect others. What does it mean to respect others? This is Hope. This is Hope's mother. Hope respects her mother. This is Hope's teacher, Mr. Barry. Hope respects Mr. Barry. This is Hope's best friend, Rebecca. Hope respects Rebecca. What does it mean to say that Hope respects her mother, Hope respects Mr. Barry, and Hope respects Rebecca? This is a picture I took of Mr. Barry. He's one of my favorite teachers. It means that Hope admires her mother, Mr. Barry, and Rebecca. She thinks good things about them. She thinks they are okay just the way they are. Even though some people criticize her mother, Hope admires her mother. Hope thinks her mother is okay just the way she is. She shouldn't be playing basketball. Yes, Hope's mother isn't very ladylike. Even though some people criticize a lot of the things about Mr. Barry, he has a squeaky voice. Isn't he funny looking? His clothes sure are. <laughs> Hope admires Mr. Barry. She thinks that Mr. Barry is okay just the way he is. Even though some people criticize a lot of the things about Rebecca, what does Hope see in Rebecca anyway? She's so ugly. Yeah, and she wears funny clothes. Hope admires Rebecca. She thinks that Rebecca is okay just the way she is. Because Hope respects her mother, her teacher, and her best friend Rebecca, she admires them, she thinks good things about them, and she thinks that they are okay just the way they are. If you respect someone, you will admire him or her, you will think good things about him or her, and you will think that he or she is okay just the way he or she is. God created you with a need to respect others. God wants you to respect others. Who are some of the people you respect? Why does a person need other people? Chapter 4 A person needs to be respected by others. What does it mean to be respected by others? This is David. This is David's father. David's father respects him. This is David's soccer coach, Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas respects David. This is David's friend, Eugene. Eugene respects David. What does it mean to say that David's father respects David? Mr. Thomas respects David, and Eugene respects David. It means that they admire David, they think good things about him, and think that he is okay just the way he is, even though other people criticize David. I don't understand what happened to David. His dad was an all-star ball player. David's father admires him and thinks that David is okay just the way he is, even though other people criticize David. 
He might be a nice kid, but he's a lousy ball player. I don't see why Coach bothers with him. I'd kick him off the team. Mr. Thomas admires him and thinks David is okay just the way he is, even though other people criticize David. How come Eugene hangs around that creep? David never wants to do anything that's fun. That's because he can't. He's not very good at anything, especially sports. Eugene admires David and thinks David is okay just the way he is, because David's father, his coach Mr. Thomas, and his friend Eugene respect him. You played your best, son. You're getting better and better, David. Good game, David. They admire him, they think good things about him, and they think that David is okay just the way he is. If someone respects you, he or she will admire you, he or she will think good things about you, and he or she will think that you are okay just the way you are. God created you with a need to be respected by others. God wants you to be respected by others. Who are some of the people who respect you? This is Harold. Harold says that nobody respects him. If this is true, Harold is the only one who can do something about it. How? The answer is simple. In order to be respected, you must do two things. First, if you want another person to respect you, you must respect yourself. You must realize that God created and respects you, and because of this, you are special. Because you are a special person, created and respected by God, you should respect yourself. Second, if you want another person to respect you, you must respect him or her. You must realize that God created and respects that person, and because of this, he or she is special. Because he or she is a special person, created and respected by God, you should respect him or her. Every person must respect others and be respected by others. He's a lousy ball player. I think he's pretty good. Last time I played with him, he caught two flies. Besides, he's a neat guy. Why does a person need other people? Chapter 5 A person needs to trust others. What does it mean to trust others? This is Raymond. These are Raymond's grandparents. Raymond trusts his grandparents. These are Raymond's friends, Jack and Tom. Raymond trusts Jack and Tom. What does it mean to say that Raymond trusts his grandparents, Raymond trusts Jack, and Raymond trusts Tom? It means that Raymond can depend on his grandparents and friends, Jack and Tom. He knows that they are honest, unselfish, and fair. Because Raymond trusts his grandparents, he can always depend on them. I knew they would keep their promise and come. He knows that they will do what they say they will do. Because Raymond trusts his grandparents, We would have been earlier, but we were outside gardening and completely lost track of time. He knows that they are honest. He knows what they say is true. We wanted to give you something for helping us clean our garage last week. He knows they are unselfish and fair. Because Raymond trusts Jack and Tom, he can always depend on them. Here they are, right on time, just as they promised. Are you ready to start setting up for the overnight camp out? You bet. He knows they will do what they say they will do. Because Raymond trusts Jack and Tom, I'm sure glad you had this flashlight, Ray, because sometimes I get scared when I sleep outside. He knows that they are honest. He knows what they say to him is true. Since we had the camp out in your backyard, we thought it would be only fair for us to bring the snacks. Raymond knows that they are unselfish and fair. Because Raymond trusts his grandparents and his friends, Jack and Tom, he can depend on them. He knows that they are honest, and he knows that they are unselfish and fair. You know, the four people I like most besides you are Grandma, Grandpa, Jack and Tom. 
I guess it's because I can trust them. If you trust someone, you can depend on him or her. You know that he or she will be honest, and you know that he or she will be unselfish and fair. God created you with a need to trust others. God wants you to trust others. Who are some of the people you trust? Why does a person need others? Chapter 6 A person needs to be trusted by others. What does it mean to be trusted by others? This is Linda. These are Linda's parents. Linda's parents trust her. These are Linda's friends, Laura and Pete. Laura and Pete trust Linda. What does it mean to say that Linda's parents trust Linda? Laura trusts Linda and Pete trusts Linda. It means that they can depend on Linda. They know that she is honest. They know that she is unselfish and fair. Because Linda's parents trust Linda. I'm sorry. I was running through the living room and accidentally knocked it off the table. It broke and I want to pay for it. They can depend on her. They know that she is honest. Linda's parents know that she is unselfish and fair. Mrs. Green stopped me on the way home from school today and gave me this bag of cookies. She baked them today. Want some? Because Laura and Pete trust Linda. I was disappointed that Mom wouldn't let us use the Indian pottery for our report, but she did say that we could use the Indian arrowheads and dolls, and I remembered to bring those. They can depend on her. They know that she is honest. Mom put some homemade cupcakes in my lunch today. Do you want some? Laura and Pete know that Linda is unselfish and fair. Because Linda's parents and her friends, Laura and Pete, trust her, they can depend on her. They know that she is honest, and they know that she is unselfish and fair. If someone trusts you, he or she can depend on you, he or she knows that you will be honest, and he or she knows that you will be unselfish and fair. God created you with a need to be trusted by others. Who are some of the people who trust you? This is Marvin. Marvin says that nobody trusts him. If this is true, Marvin is the only one who can do something about it. How? The answer is simple. In order to be trusted, you must do two things. First, if you want another person to trust you, you must show that you can be trusted. You must be dependable. Do what you say you will do. Honest, say what is true, and fair. You must be trustworthy. Second, if you want another person to trust you, you must trust the other person. You must trust that he or she will be dependable honest, unselfish, and fair. You must trust someone else. Every person needs to trust others and be trusted by others. Let's have a club. We can meet once a week in my treehouse and we can take turns bringing snacks. And let's make a pact to always trust each other. So why does a person need other people? Conclusion. You are a person created by God and because you are one, you need to love others, to be loved by others, to respect others, to be respected by others, to trust others, and to be trusted by others. That is why people need each other.